Hey there, this is Shannon and this is 10 Minutes of Astrology with Shannon. So today we're going to be talking about the full moon happening on November 8th, 2022. Let's jump right in and get started. As you see on my screen, we have, the, you can't see my finger pointing, you have the full moon here. Um, that means that the sun is going to be at 16 degrees as well as the moon. They're opposite each other. Um, Y'all know what a full moon does. It kind of brings about the crazy in people. That's when the police get called more often. It's get when more accidents happen. Um, so we've got the sun in Scorpio. It's actually going to be conjunct that day. Mercury, which is also going to be in Scorpio. I say conjunct. I do it within one degree you can do you know uh, you can pull other thing other planets in there doesn't necessarily make it a conjunct um, like you see over here you could say that the north node is conjunct but i don't usually even read the north node um, so the other thing that i wanted to look at was uranus here in retrograde also conjunct the moon in Taurus. So these being heavy opposites with one another. The sun and Mercury, here we have deep kind of secretive things that we don't talk about conversation. On the other side of this, we have deep creative emotions. And I don't know that both of these sides are really going to get along. So in opposition, when things are back and forth like this, one side um, is it's either going to be your best friend or worst enemy kind of battle. You're either opposites attract or you're opposites for a reason. Um, so it can kind of go one way or the other anytime that we see oppositions like this. Um, the other thing that I want to point out is in America's home birth chart, um, we have Saturn in Libra over here. Usually, um, it's read on the American chart that the birth date of America, July 4th, 1776, Saturn was in Libra at this time. So that's going to be semi-sextile this, and it's going to be in conjunct the moon and Uranus. So semi-sextile just means it's right next door to the other signs. I usually attribute it by saying um, a semi-sextile is the sign that came before needs to learn from the sign that came after the sign that came after needs to teach the sign that came before what are we learning well america being it's saturn and libra saturn doesn't like being in libra that is not where saturn is comfortable um so saturn and libra is back and forth with the justice system so we have extremes right now in our justice system where I mean, I don't really need to go into detail. So what our justice system needs to be learning is how to daily communicate things that we keep hidden and secretive. We need to learn how to bring that to the light. So we have a full moon that's related to light, the sun, obviously that's what that is. So we need to communicate and bring to light these dark things that we're uncomfortable talking about or we will see justice, Libra is the scales of justice, come down on us for not doing so. Um, with that, with the in conjunction here, um, we need to think of creative ideas even in the dark. Even We need to pull up things that are in the dark and, and bring them to light. And it's for some reason, it's difficult for people in America to do that. Um, so the other thing that I want to mention is Russia has a Neptune. Um, it, so in Russia's birth chart, Neptune is at 15 degrees of Capricorn. So with this, it's telling me that it is sextile Scorpio and it is trying the moon and Uranus. Um, that would also mean that, it, that the Russia Neptune would be square our home birth chart place with Saturn and Libra. What that tells me is that um, Russia with Neptune and Capricorn, so Neptune is that ethereal, that's that spirit-like-ness, um, uh, and with Saturn and Libra, uh, America's home placement, um, that is 
uh, at home and balanced um, and, and, and not at home and out of balance because Libra are the scales. So with that square, that's a heavy uh, Neptune in Capricorn is like this is um, this is the moral high ground place, right? The uh, Capricorn is the tenth house regularly in this particular chart. It's the third house. Don't pay attention to it. Um, don't pay attention to the housing signs. The point that I'm trying to make is that Neptune is the spiritual. Capricorn is kind of, it likes to be high up on the societal pedestal. Um, so Russia kind of believing, you can't, it, it, it is what it is. They do believe that they have the moral high ground. Um, at least the government of it uh, in particular, um, because now I'm speaking about, you know, speaking about the government. Besides the point, there's definitely a big conflict brewing um, and I hope that America isn't going to be stupid. So that, in a nutshell, um, is the full moon in, uh, so obviously the sun in Scorpio, the moon in Taurus. That's going to be the full moon on November 8th at 6.02 in the morning. Um, this uh, horoscopes.astroseek, uh, Serenu, and astroweekly.com, I will link them below where I, those are the resources that I used um, to help me with this particular reading. If you have any questions, hit me up. Um, you can find me on Shannon Bag, MBR, just about everywhere. Um, you can look at my website and go to Twitter and all that stuff, obviously, wherever you're watching this video. I appreciate your time. Readings like this with me, if you want your own personalized horoscope, um, I do basic readings for $30 that are about packed like this, um, where I highlight a few key points, and I do intensive readings for $75. Um, that goes into all the detail I can possibly muster. So thanks for watching, and um, happy full moon.